Hey guys, it's Phoenix. It is the 4th of January, and Mojang released a new snapshot for Minecraft, 18W01A. And it comes with a very cool new feature, which I think a lot of people will be using, regardless of whether you're a map maker or you're just playing creative Minecraft or survival Minecraft. This command will become very handy for everyone. So, what is this new command? It is part of the slash teleport system of commands, and essentially what you can do with it is face an entity or cause another entity or player to face an entity. So what am I going to do here? So let's summon a bat real quick and I'm not going to even care where he's going to fly but what I can do now is go slash tp at p facing and then the entity you want the player to face or the at p to face. So I'm going to do that type bat and you have to use only one entity here so just limit one and now I'm facing the bat and you can run this repeatedly on a repeating command block or repeating function and you will be able to face the bat now it says teleport at Phoenix SC to Phoenix SC I'm assuming that will be fixed I'm also presuming that they've come up with a solution um, for this dilemma so what if there's a player who is caught facing will that um, will there be any conflict here I'm sure it won't because after doing this nothing happens um, it doesn't even come up with a no entity found error uh, message. So this is very useful and after I saw this I realized that this is probably going to be used in conjunction with the new carrot coordinate system. So what this is, if you've forgotten, is it will allow the player or any entity to teleport towards the facing direction. So if you're facing this way, uh, this will allow the player to teleport that many blocks forward uh, where they're facing. So with this system, I've come up with a couple of different things here, different concepts. They're very basic stuff. I will come up with more co complex things later on if I have to or if I find something that's really cool. Um, so this will allow me to uh, shoot a bat successfully wherever I'm looking. So I can go this way and I know arrows behave very funnily but I can assure you this arrow or these arrows, I've made them scatter, are actually teleporting directly to the bat and I can shoot this way and it will home its way towards the bat, if I've used that word correctly, I'm pretty sure I didn't. But it's like a homing signal. So there you go, the bat has died, but it thought it was Quicksilver and it thought it could dodge all of them. So uh, I can do multiple bats here, I can shoot multiple arrows, and all these arrows will uh, gradually... You can see it does smoothly move towards the bat, it's not perfect, but this bat is for some reason dodging all the arrows, and I don't know how it's doing that. Um, I guess arrows aren't perfect. They're very, they have its tiny hitbox, and there you go, the bat is dead, and it will move to another bat. And after this bat dies, it will move on to another bat um, after it dies, hopefully. It's not the flash. There are like 50 arrows on this guy right now. How many arrows do I need? Alright, there we go, yeah, now it's dead. And all the arrows will fly directly to the next one. It does not take motional direction into account. Um, and it's dead. That one was pretty easy. And it will just fly directly to this one. And as soon as this bat is shot dead, all the arrows will get killed. And it's kind of weird. And I don't know why. I should have probably used fireballs, but fireballs look really overbearing. Alright, because this bat is still very stubborn, let's just kill the bat and all the arrows will die. And that's just this one uh, running here. Unless there's a bat in place, it will kill all the arrows. So that's essentially what I did. And the last thing I created just with two command blocks and just just demonstrate exactly how powerful these two can work in conjunction with with each other there's a lot of synergy uh, between these two uh, these two systems and I'm pretty sure that was the idea in mind uh, when they included these two in the Java edition of Minecraft or the not Microsoft edition we've got two command blocks here this will teleport a chicken towards me or facing me and then this one will teleport it towards me so these two will work hand in hand and so if I summon some chickens, and I think it's a little bit... No, it's actually working now. It was a little bit glitched out before, and I'm not sure why. But now you can see all these chickens are flying towards me. And uh, I can include... Uh... <laughs> it reminds me of the llama. Um, I can include some other you know, parameters here, but essentially if you increase this value, the chickens will fly a little bit quicker towards the player. So... Let's just do one, so that just doubles the speed. And so it doesn't matter where I go, 
these chickens will follow me. And of course, if you want to, instead of doing this, you can teleport... Well, actually, all you need to do is just do negative here. Yeah, I just realized. You don't even need to teleport them around. Uh, yeah, negative. I just thought of that. <laughs> all the chickens will... Uh, well, you'll become repulsive and, uh, well, or repellent in some cases, and all the chickens will fly away. So, very cool little system here. Turn these off, they will descend. Um, and otherwise, that is the new command or new option for teleportation. Very powerful stuff, and I'm sure a lot of people will use them in any case. Uh, in Well, whether or not they use it with the carrot uh, coordinate system, it's up to them, but I'm pretty sure that is what the idea was when they implemented it. So hopefully this helped you guys out, and this was entirely useful for you guys. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, and news updates. Take care.